Hey, it's Bob Nagan, and in this episode of Real Retail TV, I'm going to share a simple strategy to get different results. So let me tell you a story. Last week I was at a speaking engagement and after my day was done, I walked out of the room where I had given my presentation and there was a table of a couple of uh, retailers and they called me over. They had a bunch of questions about, you know, the, the, the information, the content in the program. And one of the women at this table was very, very nervous. You see, she had just invested in the retail mastery system and she was nervous that she wouldn't use it. And the first thing I did was I allayed her fears and told her that she, you know, remember you have a 90 day unconditional money back guarantee. If you are not using it, you can get your money back. But really, I missed a real, a real true coaching opportunity, a real opportunity to perhaps make a deep change. You see, I was nice and kind and reassuring, but what I really should have done is I should have looked her in the face and said, look, if you want to change, if you want things to change, you must change. Let me say that again. If you want things to change, you must change. You see, she clearly loved her business. She almost started crying when she talked about the fact that she loved her business, uh, her customers loved her business, but she just felt overwhelmed. It wasn't quite right. And what I suggested to her is she now had the tools. She has the retail mastery system. So the question becomes, are you going to change and spend the time, make the time, carve out the time, by golly, and do the work that's needed for the change to happen? Or are you going to stay in the patterns that have kept you where you are? The famous uh, executive coach, Marshall Goldsmith, has a great quote. He said, what got you here won't get you there. You see, what got her to the point where she had a great business was not going to get her to the place where she had a business that wasn't overwhelming her, that wasn't filling her with stress. She needed new skills. She needed new perspectives. She needed to grow. She needed a change. And if you want a simple strategy to get different results, you have to change. You have to change what you're doing. You have to change your skills. You have to change your situation. And at some level, what I'm sharing with you right here seems trite and flippant. But at the exact same time, this is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You just need to learn to grow. If you have habits that don't serve you, what do you need to do to change those disempowering habits into habits that serve you? If you have beliefs that don't serve you, how do you change those beliefs so that you have beliefs that do serve you? If your routines aren't working for you right now, what routines will work for you right now? And we could go on and on and on and on. But I know that you know this. I know this. I don't always live it myself. You know, there's this old saying, a cobbler's children have no shoes. And I can tell you that I am not always the best example of what I teach. But here's what I do know, is that every time I take a step that is a change, I get momentum. 
and I want to share with you. And by the way, you know who you are. And if you're watching this video, I would encourage you to send me an email, bob.nagan at whizbangtraining.com, and I would love to follow up with you. Why? Because your success is so close. You just need to change. So if you found that helpful, if you think I'm being trite and obvious, give me a little hate in the comments below. If you think that I'm on to something, put some comments down below. I would also absolutely love to hear in the comments below, what do you think you need to do what changes do you need to make that will accelerate your growth as a person, that will accelerate your growth as a business person, and will help your business grow? All right, everybody, I'm Bob Nagan. I hope that you found this helpful. I'd love to hear your comments, and we'll see you next week.